So the spring on the silver bit was uh, detached. This is the one I told you guys about. So gotta call my guy and see if he can fix this. So we'll see. Man, I had the worst surprise today with a couch that I bought this morning. Um, as you guys may know, I, I actually just recently expanded my furniture business. I now have a two 20 by 20 storage units and they're one right behind the other. Now I have massive storage and I'm able to basically double my business. So my expectations are pretty high for being able to increase the volume. So I've been just rapidly buying couches uh, day in and day out. Couch that I bought off Facebook Marketplace from a seller was a really good deal, at least I thought at first. Um, it was a Lucy sectional from Living Spaces. It had a pullout sofa, looked great on the pictures. 200 bucks, retails for 1500. So I thought, man, this is a great deal. And uh, so anyway, I got the deal locked up and I asked the guy, are there any damages or stains? I always ask that. And the guy said, no. There was a couple stains, but you know, no damages. And I buy it, right? I get a driver lined up to go pick it up this afternoon. I'm looking closer at the photos and I all of a sudden see that one of the cushions looks like it's like a little, like the fabric on it is kind of loose. So I asked the guy, hey, are the zippers all intact? Cause there's zippers on them. And he says, one of them is broken. I'm like, okay, you obviously could have told me that when before I bought it, and I asked you if there were any damages. So I'm like, is there anything else that you need to disclose to me? Well, this is a sleeper sofa. And he says one side of them can be jammed sometimes, quote unquote. And I'm like, what does that mean? So I ask him, okay, show me a picture of it. And mind you, this guy didn't put anything in the listing description about damages or anything. Just good condition sofa needs to be gone by Friday. That was it. And he didn't disclose anything when I asked him if there were any damages. So he sends me a picture. It looks like the spring is all broken on it and everything. And I'm like, dude, I have no clue how to fix this stuff. But here's why it's good to always have a good network and always be networking. A buddy of mine, it's also a couch flipper, has a really good furniture upholstery guy. He fixes all of his furniture or fix zippers and all this stuff. Long story short, he says he can fix it. And for me, I know I can sell this sofa for a thousand bucks if I get it all, get these two items fixed because it retails for 1500. And it's only a year old. So I go back to the guy and I say, look, you didn't disclose these items. He tries to play hardball with me. And a retail buyer is going to show up to that place, find out that there's a zipper broken that you didn't tell him about, find out that the sleeper sofa doesn't fit or isn't working properly. And they're just going to walk away. They don't want to deal with those problems. They'd rather pay more money for a better sofa in better condition or go pay full price for a sofa that works perfectly. So I told him that and said, look, either give me a discount or, you know, to be, make it worth my while or... No deal. Gave me a $50 discount for 150 bucks. I'm getting a sofa that has two items that'll probably cost me a hundred bucks to fix. 250 all in, I'll turn around and sell it for a thousand bucks. And I think that's a good deal. So all in all, all in a day's work, I got another sofa lined up, some pretty good profit on the way. I'll keep you guys posted on this one when I get it. And I'll let definitely let you know if uh, I can end up getting these two items fixed. It'll be my first time working with this guy. So, um, Hopefully he does good things. Hopefully my buddy that's also a couch slipper uh, knows what he's talking about. <laughs> and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Let's see if we can fix it. So you can see this right here was supposed to be on the sofa bed. It's supposed to go somewhere right there, but this ain't what I do for a living. So yeah, yep, exactly. And it looks like there's also a little bit of damage right there, which he also didn't tell me about. And this I already knew about. This hopefully my guy can fix. This is the zipper broken. We shall see.